Today we are looking at lesson A6. A6 is practice classifying numbers. Your two standards that you are looking at is I can classify numbers as rational or irrational based on its decimal expansion, and I can classify square and cube roots as rational or irrational. This really goes back to your last lesson you did in A5 and thinking about those different definitions. In Math 8 and in Algebra, you will always be working with real numbers. In that category, it's broken down into our irrational. Those are the ones that cannot be written as a fraction. Rational, thinking about that definition. Integer and whole numbers are most specific category. Again, my name is Mrs. Thompson. I teach over at Ben Franklin Middle School. You're going to be hearing my voice in this video. So what is a whole number? What is an integer? What is a rational number? And what is an irrational number? As you um, are looking at writing those down, I just want to go back and talk about yesterday's assignment, and I'm going to show you that. So try and write those right now. And yesterday's assignment, you were asked to explain why these were rational or irrational. So that might help you come up with those definitions. Here again, you were asked, is it sometimes, always, or never irrational or rational? Again, we'll help you if you're in class. But trying to pick a number like x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 3. And if it works for all these cases, you might say always. If it worked for one of them but not the other two, then you might say sometimes. Or if it didn't work for any of them, you might choose never. Again, making sure you're looking at the explain part of these assignments and here really using that definition. So again, if you pause the video right now, what I would like you to do is write down your definition of what you think a whole number is, integer, rational, and irrational. The definitions that we talked about that I would like you to make sure you have written down, and again, if you need to pause the video while you're watching, what is a whole number? So a whole number, the definition that we want you to be using, it is a includes zero, and it's all of our counting numbers. So if we are thinking about it, whole numbers is zero, one, two, three, four, five, like you learned in kin kindergarten. What is an integer? Well, an integer, when we look at that definition, includes those whole numbers, including zero, and their opposites, the negatives. So looking at all of those, going to the largest negative number you can think of up to the largest number. Notice in the integers, you will never see a fraction or a decimal. When we talk about our rational numbers, as we looked at those definitions, as you wrote that in your last assignment, rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a ratio of two integers, really written as a fraction. This includes all whole numbers, integers, terminating decimals that end, repeating decimals, and our perfect roots. What are our irrational? If you tried to write your definition again, now you're going to look at this one to write it down. Irrational numbers are numbers that can be written, as we are looking at, as a ratio of two integers or fractions and include non-terminating so that they never end and they never repeat, and it would be our non-perfect roots. And the last one is what is a real number? And if we are looking at that definition of a real number, it is going to be all of our rational and irrational numbers. So as you are looking at those, that's kind of kind of be your definition. Now, going forward, again, if you have to pause it, pause it so you get all those definitions written in. What you are going to be asked to do, our lesson today is really short, classify the numbers using the specific name. So what do I mean by the specific name? I mean whole numbers, integers, rational, and irrational. So using those names, what I want you to do is just right below each of these, maybe you're going to tell me an R for rational. Maybe you're going to tell me IR for irrational. Maybe an I for integer. Maybe a W for whole number. And going back to our definitions, what do we know about every number that we are dealing with? If it's rational and irrational, it's going to be a real number. But we want the most specific name. So pause it, and then please um, come back, and we'll take a look at it. So here we would have rational and rational. They're fractions, right? I have a decimal that ends. That's rational. I have a fraction. That's rational. If I'm going specific, this is 1, 2, 1, 2. This is a repeating. So this would be rational. 
as I am taking a look at those. So each one of those, as I take a look at them, is going to give me where they're rational. Now I want to get more specific, and I might be thinking irrational. So when I'm thinking of my irrational ones, one of the first things I might want to be thinking about is, oh, irrational. And if I'm looking at irrational, I know I might have pi is going to be irrational, definitely. I know that if I am looking at the square, not a perfect square, so it's going to be irrational. Square root of 2, not a perfect square, um, as we are taking a look. So maybe you know some of them, and now you're kind of looking at the rest, and you go, oh, this is definitely a whole number. This is definitely an integer. Here we have a whole number. Here we are looking at, as we look at that square root, a cube root of 8, Cube root of 8 equals 2, so that is going to be a whole number, okay? And we really have one left, square root of 196, and if we think about the square root of 196, if you've memorized, you know this one is equal to 14, which makes it a whole number. Now, tonight you're going to notice in your workbook that the assignments that go with this is asking you to classify as um, rational or irrational. And again, make sure you look really closely because a pattern is not the same as a repeat. So the directions are key as to how you're going to fill in the joke on the bottom. So make sure you look at that because once you start crossing off, maybe just cross off lightly. And then what you are going to see, and so it tells you that to decide whether each of these decimals is rational or irrational, circle the letter that's appropriate. So you might look at that first one and go, oh, rational, I'm going to circle that. What that means is that when you go down here, you're going to go all the way down this line to see all of these numbers going down. And then when you have filled those in, once you've done this one, oh, I have another rational. Oh, if I look at this one, 2, 4, there's not a repeat but a pattern. That goes over here. I am not going to put that letter. I'm going to put the first letter M. I'm going to put the second one A. And now I have to wait to see if I have another one circled here. This A will not be written until I've gone all the way to the bottom here and then come up. This one is kind of a, um, just kind of vocabulary, asking you to choose between the letters. And again, it, the joke should make sense to you. If you know a little something about um, Robin Hood here, that might help you. And... Um, I just want you to be aware that in the past, this was an activity we did where people just classified and we had them work in groups. That's not really working this year. Um, so if you look at these and you wanted to just practice writing down, saying which category they're in, you could check with your teacher when you return. This does not have to be done. Um, you are also going to notice that we put a Quizlet practice. Um, and as I click on that, I just want to show you what that looks like. That Quizlet practice, if you are looking at it, um, which we will attach probably in um, Google Classroom, kind of gives you some different cards and asks you if it is rational or irrational. So if you need to practice more, you could do that. Um, I just want to say I hope you guys have a great day and um, hope this is making sense to you. We are getting ready to take our first test that will cover rational and irrational, and it will also cover um, as we are looking at working with our other numbers. Have a great day.